Hi, I'm Sean Yan, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about adding, subtracting polynomials, and we're going to simplify each expression. So, if I was given this polynomial, 13a in parentheses, uh, to the second power, minus 6a to the fifth, minus 2a, close parentheses, minus new ones, negative 10a squared, minus 11a to the fifth, plus 9a. Okay? Well, what I like to do, if you know what it is, I make all my subtractions to be adding a negative. So, here, 13a squared, adding a negative 6a to the fifth, adding a negative 2a. Then I'm also going to distribute that negative sign across. Negative uh, times a negative 10a to the second power is adding a positive. So we're adding a positive 10a squared. Distribute again that negative, adding a positive now, positive 11a to the fifth, and distribute the negative because you're adding a negative 9a. Okay, we're distributing that minus sign across. Okay, so now I'm going to rearrange my like terms together in my highest degrees first. So the highest degree I see is to the fifth power. We have negative 6a to the fifth, put a dot to bring that down. I'll show that I brought that down, plus 11a to the fifth. Brought that one down. I don't see anything else to the fifth power. Next highest power I see is not 4, not 3, but 2. Okay, the second power. So we have plus 13a squared right there, plus 10a squared right there. Perfect. And I don't see any, it's a positive 10a squared, I don't see anything else. So now let's go to the next one, is just the a's. Uh, the negative 2a plus a negative 2a, and then plus a negative 9a. Okay, let's just double check we brought everything down. 13a squared, negative 6a to the fifth, negative 2a is right there, 10a squared, 11a to the fifth, and negative 9a. Good. We brought everything down. So now let's combine our like terms. Negative 6a plus 11a, or negative 6a to the fifth plus 11a to the fifth is 5a to the fifth. Positive 5a to the fifth. 13a squared plus 10a squared is 23a squared. And lastly, Negative 2a plus a negative 9a is a negative 11a. Now I'm going to rewrite this to have, uh, instead of adding a negative for my final answer, um, I'd like to have a subtraction sign. I find it easier to solve when it's adding a negative, and then I'll simplify. And then at the end, I like to make it back to a subtraction because it looks nicer. So we have 5a to the fifth plus 23a squared minus 11a. And there we go. We have our final answer. So let's recap. We're given 13a squared minus 6a to the fifth minus 2a in parentheses, subtracting all parentheses here. Negative 10a squared minus 11a to the fifth plus 9a in parentheses. I made everything add a negative, and I distributed my subtraction sign, giving me a positive 10a squared here, positive 11a to the fifth, and then plus a negative 9a. Then I rearranged, put all my like terms together in my highest degree first. So negative 6a to the fifth and 11a to the fifth first. Then 13a squared, 10a squared, negative 2a, negative 9a. Okay, I use the dot method and double check that I brought everything down. I combine my like terms, and then when I saw it, I'd add a negative. I want to make that subtraction sign for my final answer. And so now we have our final answer, which is 5a to the fifth plus 23a squared minus 11a.